Hello again everyone, Joe and I will bring, bring you another GVG commentary, this time between the Monsters main team and Zero Quality in the September 2016 semi-finals. Okay, let's go in. So uh, the semi-finals this month was actually on uh, Corrupted. Uh, Corrupted is a very interesting map because um, it, it basically has two really long straightaways and uh, at first it might seem like a good map to split on. But uh, it's actually pretty difficult to split on because uh, there's really no way to collapse if you do split. So, main have got two front line, Power Mez Ellie, which is a pretty standard main build. Probably will be an L Surge Ellie. Uh, I'm not sure what the Paragon will be running. It could be running Expel Hexes. They're known to run Expel Hexes, especially when I think they expect to be fighting against Lightning Surge. And I think that they would expect maybe the ZQ is running Ellie's because they're full of Americans. And we see ZQ with two frontline Ranger Necromez, which is uh, could be could be quite well could be quite good for them if means Paragon doesn't have flesh wound and he really does run flesh wound, so it looked like Mean was expecting a split at the start, sending out the lightning surge at the back, but he will probably just run the next flag after Mean caps. They are capping on Dervish. Uh, the the Mesra for ZQ is running uh, Wastrels instead of uh, Power Block, so that means he does have a speed boost, so he's able to run flags. Uh, the standard for Ranger, Mesber, uh, Necro is obviously have the Necro run flags, but uh, ZQ does have the option if they choose to, to have this Mesmer also run flags. Yeah, the, having a Wastrels will actually be quite useful against the Lightning Surge early of main. I'm not sure uh, if He's running Patient Spirit or something that can cancel the Wastrels, but knowing me, I think that they're more likely to have... Okay, so he, he does a Blind actually, probably over Shock Arrow, so... Okay, he's got Spirit Bond, so he can cancel yeah, he the Wastrels, but without Shock Arrow, his energy management is going to be really rough. And he's actually getting really low right now to the Wastrels. He really gets taken well, out. They're, they're, yeah, he's, he's taking a lot. I mean, he's, he's been snared for a while. It's, yeah... It looks like it's difficult for this flag to get through. Actually, uh, ZQ decides to run the second flag on uh, their flagger, which is actually pretty smart, knowing that Mean was running their second flag on a damage dealer. Well, it just looks like ZQ's build at the moment is quite strong against Mean's. Um, especially well, as I was like, saying, I was going to say, especially. Yeah, it looks like the, the Expel Hexes is uh, not very useful in this matchup. So that's a. Pretty large build advantage for ZQ. So, doesn't um, look like ZQ has run the next flag yet. Well, ZQ is taking some pressure here. I mean, this Paragon is uh, is doing a good amount of damage. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, the number two Dervish on me is just training out this. Yeah, it looks like they're just going for this uh, heal monk really hard. Like, both of them are as well. Mesmer ZQ now going back to run flag while the Ellie of Mean is running flag. So it's actually a little bit unfortunate timing for ZQ on this flag, I think, because they really want to have their Mesmer main team while Mean's Ellie is a main team so they can counter him. But actually, Mean will double run and send their Ellie back right now. But yeah, yeah. ZQ really want to have their Mesmer main team while Mean's Ellie is there because the Mesmer is really going to count the Ellie and do a lot of damage to him, take out a lot of his energy and. It'll be a real big mismatch, but Mean might be recognizing that and double running flags right now to avoid that bad matchup. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just gonna be like a... It's it's almost like a chess match between uh, keeping the Mesmer main and keeping the Ellie main. Um, that's definitely like, in this matchup, that's definitely... Uh, uh, whoever gets the better of that matchup will definitely come out ahead. But it looks like... Even the Mesmer on Mean doesn't have a great Wastros cancel, I think. Uh, this Peril is actually able to get the boss. I didn't even see who died there. I don't think anyone has died yet. Yeah, yeah no one has died yet, so it must boss, have been another bug bug. Yeah, which is interesting, I guess. So Mean but, uh, will be anyways, quite happy with that. Anyways, uh, as we can see, uh, for ZQ's build, uh, Exile is running his Forceful Blow Bar. So uh, he's just been camping this problem on like almost the entire game which is a pretty common strategy that uh, a lot of guilds I know ZQ definitely uses it where they uh, try to coordinate damage with their Dervish and... oh which one 
Uh, uh, the, the Ellie from yeah. main is a little bit out of position. Might actually go down right here. The monks didn't push up for him. And oh, yeah, wow. Just go down. Right after time as well, so they'll need to res that. He, ba he basically just got trained out by this dervish solo. I mean... Uh, yeah, main's backline. There was a little bit of miscommunication there, I think. Where they didn't quite follow straight away. Well, I think uh, this Ellie just has no energy all the time. He's constantly stripped. And uh, he's been using blind a lot. So, he, I mean, all his energies seems to be, yeah, putting up a two man using blind. So yeah. let's see if he can output some damage and maybe get some pressure on TQ. Yeah, that early bar, even without being shut down, is really, really rough on energy. But against Ranger Necromez, especially against Ranger Necromez with the waste jewels, he's gonna have basically no energy the whole time he's in main team. So it means Mesmer is trying to run the flag in right now. He's put Dark Escape up, but he's still getting trained out through it. And Main is taking a lot of damage, it looks like, to get this flag in and getting pushed into quite a weak position. Yeah, I mean, Main's been using a lot of resources to try to stay ahead on flags. Um, let's see if they can convert like some of this into some pressure. Uh, it looks like ZQ is actually doing a better job. Ooh, Ooh nice just so they say that, a nice kill on the Necro. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, Mean is able to get kills if this Ellie is able to cast and uh, have his attunement up. But as you can see, he doesn't have his attunement up right now. I mean, uh, ZQ is doing a really good job of just constantly stripping him. There's a Savage nice on Hell, so she's, yeah. he's just going to be out of energy. Like, I mean, he just put up attunement, but... So that kill on the Necro before probably did save Mean quite a bit. Uh, that were under quite a lot of pressure and that looked like it relieved a lot of it. Uh, it looks like ZQ's training this Paragon, which is actually a pretty smart idea since he does have the boss. So if ZQ was to double run flags right now, they're not actually running a flag yet. It looks like, yeah, okay, now they're starting to go back on their Mesmer and Matoko. If they could double run flags, get a huge advantage like they just had then, and keep all their damage at main team, uh, it would be quite effective, but now we see that Mean is running on their Ellie again without the Mesmer of ZQ at main team. So if they were able to keep their Mesmer at main team because of a flag advantage, they would definitely be able to probably take out this Ellie uh, while he runs up this choke point. Well, so, I think Mean is... Mean, I mean, I yeah. feel like every single time they run this flag to the stand with the Ellie, they take so much pressure off of it. I mean, he's already died once, and... Uh, it, it just he's just gonna get stripped constantly and then after coming back it seems like he has very little energy to cast anything so um maybe they would be better off running it up with the mesmer instead of the ellie yeah running it up in the alley is just such a risky move on on this map against range and Akramas with all the strips yeah it's also very like it takes a long time for it to maybe get it off the stuck ramp the stuck with the flag up here uh zq is not capping Oh, okay, nice kill on the Prime Monk of Main. So this is a super risky position for Main. They're, so they're stuck in the AVA. Yeah, make a white pair. Has the make a white pair. Oh, Exile just gets a huge uh, knockdown with the Wastrel's damage. That was a lot of damage on this Prime Monk. This Mesmer looks like it's about to go down. There's a D-shot on RC. Wow, this is looking really bad for Main. Yeah, this is a great move. So this is the kind of AV8 that I was saying before that ZQ really wants to get in, but they didn't get it through flag advantages then, they got it through just holding flag with a disadvantage. I mean this which is great for them. This Mesmer just just a like two hundred yeah. damage from wastrels. Yeah. I, he probably had zero energy holding the flag. Well he probably doesn't have a wastrels cancel as well, like we saw in the match against NS yesterday. So Mean is really mm -hmm. trying to hold on right now, they really can't win this AV8 anymore and to try and fight this at the stand, they can't sort of, they can't really win the flag game, they can't win the AV8 game, so they will probably have to start splitting. And yeah, it looks like they're sending off their Ellie to split and Dervish to split now. But without, with Spirit Bond, it will, might be quite difficult for them to split. In fact, it will be extremely difficult for them to split with Spirit Bond against the Ranger Necromez team of ZQ. Well, I mean, this Dervish is not going to be able to get much accomplished, uh, especially since the Ellie really doesn't have a heal for him. I mean, if he gets hit by the Knights a couple times, he'll, he'll just die to them. Uh, they they probably are going to get these back footies though, which is um, useful in certain situations. So Zeke is defending with the Mesmer and the Monk, which is quite smart. They have the option of defending with the Ranger and the or the Necro as well instead of the Mesmer, but they probably recognize that they 
there's no point having the Mesmer main if the alley is not main. So that's a smart move well, by Ziku. Uh, I'm surprised that Mina is actually not pushing this out the side with their three dam uh, three characters. They had sent their flag air, but it looks like they don't want this fight, which is actually surprising to me. They could have got a three v two maybe. Uh, so it looks like ZQ is actually in a, a little bit of a precarious position, trying to sort of pincer in Mean, pulling the back footman. Oh. The Mesmer is a little bit out of position. May get caught well, out here. If, if he can get an L surge on here. Matoko might be caught. Oh, okay. Matoko got away. Turns around. They're going for the 8v7 instead, which is just fine. Still with the the boss on the power, which the power actually has power spike. I just saw, which is interesting. They might be able to get a lot of pressure on ZQ right now. Yeah, I mean they are fighting AV7, so this is a good of a time as any for uh, me to get a lot of pressure here. Matoko is actually pushing back in the back door of Main, so it'll take even longer for him to get to Main if he doesn't try and connect. And if he does try and connect it and try and pull, push through the footman and cause a lot of pressure, I think. So, this is still quite a risky move for Ziku to be making. Yeah, uh, it looks like Mean is trying to defend these footmen with their flagger, which is uh, interesting. They're actually sending their L search here, too. Uh, it looks like Ziku is going to be able to get Matoko over. I mean, uh, Chama is going, but he's taking a lot of damage to do it. They are pulling both the footmen and the knights, though. I guess one of the footmen, I think the other one might be dead, but footmen and knights. Oh, they actually did just take the knights out there, so... Hey, one knight is still alive, so... So they are taking out down the NPCs, and Ziku isn't under any pressure, so this is still very good for oh, Ziku. Very good. Yeah, it uh, looks like uh, Mina's trying to split again, which is uh, probably their best option at this point. Uh, they might get something out of this as well. Looks like they have good timing advantage on the monk of Ziku. Yeah, it's just Matoko back right now. I mean, the monk is still a good 10 seconds away. They might be able to get this knight uh, through Matoko. Matoko gets a great, uh, great route on that chain, but they also just get off lightning strike. There should be a dead oh, knight. Okay, he goes for the, actually the mesmer instead of the knight. That's an interesting decision. He might be able, might have been able to get the knight down. And main really can't hold the skirmish for very long because this Ellie will run out of energy very quickly when Matoko decides to push up, which he might do. Yeah, I mean, I think their only option right now is to go for this 3v2, though. I mean, they're gonna probably die in their base for this, though. Uh, we'll see if uh, Mead's monks can hold in their base. Yeah, I think a ZQ might actually be able to hold this 2v3. Which... I mean, Mean is gonna die in their base. Like, they're just monks stopping Exile on this prod. This Dervish was trading the heal for a long time. So, I mean, ZQ did then... lose one night. Yeah, Exile yeah, this is back has and, been going back and forth on the front all game. Yeah, in both bases. I mean, ZQ just sees the two monks and they literally just sit one, sit one frontliner on each monk. And uh, me, there's not much Mean can do to stop this. I mean, it looks like the monks are just going to drop eventually. They're taking so much pressure from this. Yeah, Mean probably really want to try and get a flag out, but it's going to be difficult because it looks like the Ranger might kind of... He's in a position, he's standing right next to the flag actually, so it's going to be hard for me to grab a flag out without Ziku noticing. Main does start collapsing mm -hmm. though, and Ziku is following. Yeah, that's uh, another KD. That, I mean, this problem has just been on the ground constantly uh, for the past two minutes now. There's a good strip. Um, Nearly, ooh, okay, there yeah, we go, it goes down. And uses balance dance as well, so if he gets rezzed up, he won't have balance dance ready. Well, this, this number seven is going to go down like immediately. Uh, I don't know how much. Uh, yeah, he's just he's just gonna die here. I mean, their number eight got back in time to save him. But uh, this Looks is like really bad for me. If they can't, the if they, the yeah, if they can't get their problem link back, this is horrible. They're basically AV seven without a pride. And there's really not a very easy way for them to escape the base as well because Ranger Necromesmer is just so strong at punishing teams for trying to run through. You can see the ranger is positioned very nicely to stop stop me from running out both sides. Not not playing yeah, way too aggressively yeah. as some players would, like not sitting right next to the monks. Well, Mead's number eight goes down. Their number seven is about to fall. If their number seven falls here, that that should be game. So yeah, close. he's trying to cut it out. Uh, he got a spear bomb from the alley. That should be enough time for them to end the game. Actually, they have a full twelve seconds there. I don't know if they're gonna go for it. 
It looks like it's gonna be close. Looks like they might not go for it, but they're still gonna be in a very, very risky position. The Dervish is quite low health, uh, training at exile. He could need some damage and die right here. And that's their hard res dead after time. Um, quite dangerous position for main still to be in. Yeah, I don't know what they can do right now. I mean, I guess they have to try to get out and try to survive until the next base res. Um, yeah, they're trying to, it looks like they tried to run a flag right there, but the ranger for ZQ was falling way too closely. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. They're, they're doing a good job of kiting these frontliners, but I don't know how long they're going to be able to stay up. I mean, without the Sturvish, they literally have zero pressure. Uh, their box are going to have to try to do a great job of just kiting these frontliners out. Uh, What's that in your background? Say, something, Exile is... something in the microphone is making this really weird sound. Yeah, so anyway, Ming's still stuck in this really rough position where they, it's not like Druids are where you can actually bait one of the, you know, either front door or back door and run out the opposite door. Although Ming do seem to run out their back door with the warrior right now, being followed by the monk of ZQ. And that's going to be fine because ZQ's under no pressure and the dervish is still dead for Ming. Looks like uh, the Ellie for Ming tries to run the flag out, but the ranger is right on top of it. So great job by the ranger there. Uh, the warrior trying to 1v1 the monk, not going to be successful there. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that uh, Mean's been able to live for this full 2 minutes until the Dervish is going to base res. Yeah, but they're still they're getting quite close to wiping and it's going to be at a very bad time if they do wipe. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be very rough. It, I think that for a while there we saw the poison get taken out by the Mesmer of Mean, so we had no poison. For, for quite a while there. So that was a good job. I by mean, the monks are all gonna die at the same time, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, number eight is about to fall here. Oh, wow. Saved. Ooh, oh, power spike kill. Like... Nice. And boss and Matoko now as well. Yeah, that should be the game right there. That's two monks down. I, I don't think they have any res for this. He's trying to pack, but this is gonna get D shot for sure. Yep. Yep. D shot. Yeah, that should be the game here. One monk up, no way to res. I think that was just a piece well by kill game again. By ZQ. I mean, yeah, that was. I think that was yeah, quite a build advantage and quite nice plays from ZQ. They responded perfectly to the splits. They ran flags very, very well, and they pushed flags extremely well up the choke point. They just did everything they needed to. They had their hammer warrior training at the front monk. Played pretty much textbook range in Necromez. So yeah, great job by ZQ. Yeah, they basically shut down uh, all of Mean's offense. It didn't seem like Mean was able to create any sort of pressure on ZQ. Alright, thanks for See you next time.